Part of the reason that, that we love this title from my perspective is it's fun, it's provocative, and it enables you to grin a little bit as you're addressing it, and a little bit of humor and a little bit of provocativeness is one of those things that helps make it easier to address, to bring it out into the open. I mean, a four-letter word is a taboo in most circumstances. What do you do? You want to basically get this topic, failure, out of the closet, out onto the management tables and team discussions around the world. My spouse asked, and that was, really? You want to be the world expert in failure? <laughs> <laughs> and it was, no, we're not going to be the world experts in failure. What we're doing is we are really uncovering how failure can help us if we pay attention to it in more insightful ways, if we engage with it in more productive ways. So we looked at a number of different frameworks. We, we looked at organizations and individuals who had failed. We looked at organizations that had succeeded through failure. And we ended up creating something that we call the failure value cycle. We start with respect. After respect, how do you rehearse for failure? If you've rehearsed for failure, how can you recognize it sooner so that you have more options to do something with it? How do you react most effectively? After it's happened, how do you reflect on it deeply and honestly enough to be able to derive the real insights that it contains? And lastly, and very importantly, how do you remember what your organization actually did to deal with and leverage the power of failure? When the founders of Instagram, at the time Bourbon, talked to their early customers, the customers said, this is too complicated, we don't like the product, but we love this photo app. So what the founders did is they went back, they stripped away all of those other elements, and they just created a very simple photo application, which they launched in less than two months, and they called it Instagram, and it became a home run. If they had just listened to their customers, and the customers said, this product is a failure, this product is too complicated, we're not sure how to use it, and they hadn't listened in between and said, what's failing and what can we find that's a success? What can we learn from this? Then they would have just shuttered everything and gone away. What they found was there were some elements in the midst of this big failure that the customers really liked and they focused on those and that's where a big success grew out of it. That's where the innovation came from. Have you ever heard of WD-39? No, right? WD-40 was the 40th time that that team at Rocket Chemical Company tried to figure out what's going to be the magic formula that works. They could have stopped after WD-1, 2, 3, all the way up to WD-39 and they would have failed. But they kept at it one more cycle and discovered now what is a worldwide product. Yeah. We spoke uh, to a variety of organizations all the way up and down the food chain. Uh, let me give you just a few examples. Uh, we had an opportunity to talk to Chad Holliday, who's the chairman of the board of Royal Dutch Shell the largest company in the world in Fortune 500, um, who was also the former CEO of DuPont. We had an opportunity to uh, talk with the CEO of Hyatt Hotels, Mark Hoplomacian. Um, we talked with a number of people in the small and medium size business category, names that you wouldn't necessarily know, but represents that great middle ground of business and enterprise uh, around the country and around the world. Uh, and then we talked with a number of startups. And we're not just talking about corporations and businesses. In our effort to really understand how to drive innovation and growth, how to create new opportunities from failure, we spoke with astronauts and fighter pilots. We spoke with state governors. We spoke with scientists. We spoke with hospital administrators. If you're interested in growth, if you're interested in real employee engagement, if you're interested in innovation, you've got to come to terms with this now taboo of the other F word or failure. One of the crucial things that we really want to do here when it comes to the topic of failure is to take failure and turn it from a regret into a resource. And this failure value cycle is a tool to help you do just that. One of the things that we like to say about failure when it all is said and done is that failure is today's lesson for tomorrow. Mm -hmm.